Yeah, I've been here since Friday night, since those storms hit, and Kevin and Kyle warned us about the storms that were pending. Uh, and so this also happens to be the town of Whiteland. This is where my wife has taught kindergarten for 27 years. This home in particular, welcome to 190 Deborah Lane. This happens to be the home of Robert and Amy Stuck. They allowed us to be on their property. There's a stop work order on their home. Let me show you why. First of all, the sign of problems is this do not cross line, and that's because people are no longer allowed in that home. This home is a total loss. You can see when that EF3 hit this home and many others in this neighborhood, this one in particular, as you can see, they have no roof, windows are busted, they will be unable to move back into this home. This will have to be rebuilt. Now the power is back on here in this neighborhood and many others. Duke Energy now telling me that of course, they hope that all electricity is back by six this evening at the latest. About 1,700 people are still in the dark this morning as crews will continue to work when the sun rises, but sun rises, but they also have been working overnight. Now let me show you what Duke Energy is gonna do moving forward. They're going to now start installing some steel poles. The steel poles will be replacing the wooden poles that were toppled on Friday night when that tornado hit. Those steel poles are proved to be more reliable than the wooden poles when we have severe storms. The replacements, I'm told, are part of Duke's overall efforts to make the power grid more reliable. Should point out that some repairs were slowed down just a bit on Saturday and, and Sunday because of the heavy winds. We weren't able to get our uh, folks up on buckets uh, to actually make those restorations. There is a, a wind limit, if you will, on how high those buckets can go up and if they can even go up for the safety of our employees and our contractors. So that did have a, a limitation on um, how quickly we were able to get to some of these. I want to correct myself that the tornado that hit here, Whiteland, was an EF2 with winds at the peak 135. Nonetheless, you can see the damage that hit this community. Many homes will need to be repaired, and that's what will happen. Also learned something new from Duke Energy, which is those bucket trucks cannot go up in the air if winds exceed 30 miles per hour. And because we had some heavy winds after the tornado, it did slow down just a little bit. The repair process, again, power is back on in many other neighborhoods.